Peace and love. Peace and love, everybody. Well, here it is. I mean, you saw the last video. Or if you saw the last video, then you know what? I was undecided about what I wanted to do. 90-some percent of me knew that I... Lucky wants to say hi, y'all. He needs a haircut, too. I just came back from the barbershop. My barber wasn't there. Um, so this other guy cut me. And I kind of was reluctant. I didn't want to sit in his chair because his attitude... But I went ahead and let him do me, and I think he did a good job. Now, the thing is, okay, I don't know what my hair looked like in the back. And I hope that he didn't take away my W. I swear. I got the little W thing going on in the back, and I told him I want sharp edges and everything. And, yes, you can see, yeah, he covered up some of my gray with the spray stuff that they use. I don't know why they do that without even asking. But it is what it is, I guess, to make the line and look better or whatever. But as you can see, I decided to go ahead and get it cut, and I'm going to keep it cut on the sides and the back so that I won't have that weight, you know, affecting me and making me uncomfortable because of the herniated disc in my neck and other reasons. I'm not going to really be talking about a lot of um, health issues or anything on my channel anymore. I will, however, be talking about my business, which I should have been talking about a long time ago which is my candle business, Waxy Desires. If anybody is watching this right now, pause, go to TikTok, go to Waxy, W-A-X-Y, underscore Desires, D-E-S-I-R-E-S. -E -E go to my TikTok. I have so many pictures, so much content on TikTok and Instagram. Everything is going to be linked down below, but please do me a favor. I'm trying to be able to do live chats, live videos and stuff over there, which is, you can get more intense with things. YouTube, you know, you kind of have to stay in their circle, their bubble, you know what I'm saying? But over there, you're pretty much free to say and do a lot of things that you can't do on, on YouTube. So please go to at waxy underscore desires. Waxy, W-A-X-Y underscore desires. That's on TikTok. Please go over there. Once I grow my channel to be a thousand um, people, just like YouTube, I'll be able to do live chats. I'll be able to sell my candles on the chats. I'll be able to do whatever it is that I want to do on the chats. And I'm going to be hosting chats like, like I was during the, you know, the whole pandemic thing. But yes, I wanted to come back. Thank you all who... Thank you. I just want to thank everybody who took time out to say what they thought I should do, you know, with my hair. And those that know, that really know, that's been following me, that knows what happened, you all were right on point. You know, there were some people that came in and said what they had to say. And I was just like, did you even watch the video? Do you know what happened to me? Do you know, Have you watched any of my videos? Because I'm not, it's been a year. I'm not going to keep repeating it over and over again because I don't want to. It makes me sick to my stomach to think about, you know, why I had to cut my hair. That was, it was not a move as far as um, being creative or artistic or wanting a new life or cutting off my hair because of the fire, because I lost everything and it's like a fresh new start. No, I didn't need a fresh new start. I know how to have a fresh new start. I smudge my hair with sage all the time. So that was never it. Anybody, and then I know somebody had mentioned maybe you should um, just let your hair grow to a certain length and cut your dreads. That's something I can't do. When I cut my dreads, I cut them all off. I don't trim. I don't manicure my dreads like that. So I can't do that. And to those, my nephew, Rakim Cherry, that don't understand, dreads is not a bad thing to say that word. I choose to call them dreads, and it's because I know the meaning behind it. It's because the warriors that they were fighting against or battling against were dreadful. Let's let's be clear about that. So yes, I could say dreads and it means something totally different from the connotation for what for what it is, a uh, definition in the book. You know, I had to check him and tell him about that because why would I be saying something negative about my hair? It's not negative. Now, if you all choose to say locks, that's cool. I just don't. I say and I've been saying naughty dreads. Okay? And it's okay. Everybody doesn't have to do it, but I do it. So it was another point that I wanted to make with it. It's like, okay, and I said this before. I know I said it in multiple videos. It's like in Chicago, me and my friends since the age of like 18 or whatever, if we saw something that was hot, that was popping, we'd be like, oh my God, that's sickening. 
oh, her hair, when I was, I'm a licensed cosmetologist, doing hair, they'd be like, oh my God, her hair is sickening. And sickening sounds like a word that is negative, but it's not, not the way that we use it. You know, it means a good thing. It's like, oh my God, that's cold as you know what. But let me stop talking and let me show you all. I have not seen the back of my hair. Please, somebody comment down below. Comment down below and let me know if dude cut off my W. I have my hair, my hairline in the back. It goes into a W or a M in the back. And I told him, don't round me off, don't square me off, and don't mess up my W. I like the way he cut me. That was the first time I let somebody else cut me besides my, my Barbara Angel. Um, and she wasn't there today, but I had to do it because I was just feeling... I was feeling like, let me move on with my life. And I promised that I was going to start doing videos and stuff. And it was something that was needed because I feel comfortable, you know, with my sides and back tapered down. And now I don't have to worry about, yeah, I'm not letting it grow out. So I'm, I don't have to worry about any added weight or anything. Eddie, can't do it, baby. You said, let it do what it do. I, I am letting it do what it do. The ones on top is doing what it's going to do. Um... I can't, if you watched any of my videos, I cannot allow too much weight on my hair. And again, I'm not going to be trimming them to be a certain length so it won't be heavy. No, when these grow, they're going to grow until, I can't say until I die because I said that before and stuff happened, right? You know, um, until it's necessary for me to have to cut them all the way off because I'm not going to just cut them and trim them and stuff like that. So let me give you all a love you. Listen, like I always have on a shirt when I'm doing a video. Y'all like the earrings? Comment down below. One dollar. No, maybe two dollars. <laughs> okay. And tell me, seriously, you all, tell me if he cut my W or my M, whatever you want to call it, off in the back. Tell me how you like to cut. That's it. Ain't nobody, I'm not touching my dress or anything. They're free form. They're doing what they do. They finally started bonding. It's been a whole year. Okay. And, well, here it is. Okay. So, first of all, I love the way he uh, lined me up. I didn't even have to get a razor liner, which I normally do. And he made it appear as if I had a razor liner. I love the way this brother worked with my head. I mean, I love the way he was confident in what he was doing. Okay. Here we go. I know I'm talking too much. Is my W there? Please tell me my W is there. If anybody can see, let me come a little closer. I hope I don't fall out the chair. <laughs> Lucky is on me. Okay. So that's the side. And then anybody that's really been following me knows that with my haircuts, I have been, I don't want like a mohawk type thing going on on top. So I have one side that's a little bit shorter. And this side has always been my longer side. Since I had to cut my hair in October. Again, if you need to know why I had to make the decision to cut my hair, please go back. Please go back. I have plenty of videos and I talk about it in almost every video because it's something that was traumatic for me. Okay? So, here's the other side. Let me know what you think. I think he did a good job. I really do. Okay, check for the W, y'all. Check for the M or the W or whatever. And this is what the top is doing. Okay. And I'm back. All right. So, yeah. Basically, that's it. I just... Oh. Another big thing. Check out my website. Waxydesires.net. W-A-X-Y-D-E-S-I-R-E-S.net. Please support. I need your help. Honestly, I have been really putting all my energy into not just my child, my children, and my, I mean, but my business as well. I've been in the game for 23 years and I had to rebrand and, you know, do different things, stuff that I didn't think I was going to have to do. I used to have to just send out an email and my candles were sold or go someplace and a bar or something at night and, and my candles are sold. Now I'm trying to do the internet thing because that's more convenient and conducive for me, especially with me having social anxiety and not really wanting to be around a lot of people and stuff like that. It, it just makes it easier. But if you all can support, I would really appreciate it. If you get a chance, 
you know, just let me know if you if you ordered something or whatever. And I'm always going to throw in something extra for my royal family. Trust and believe that. And you will like what I make because all of my energy that I have, I do not make candles unless my energy is good. I smudge my hands with sage. I smudge my body with sage. I put myself in a totally different mindset so that you you are receiving nothing but the most love I have to give inside of my candles. That's my crystal candles. That's any candle that I make. I do not make candles without having good energy around me. So let me know what you think about the haircut. Please comment down below. The first person who comment down below and tell me that my W is still there or my M, whatever it is, is still there, I'm going to hook you up with something. Just place an order and I'm going to definitely set you out. Seriously. All right? So peace and love, everybody. It is what it is here. Here we go. Oh, I feel free. Is this what freedom is? I love you all. Oh, the live chat. Comment down below. What's 1111? Angel numbers. Comment down below and let me know what day, because I'm, I'm going live this week. I want to get back into my live chats. Definitely. And I want to be able to pull you all in, so it's, it's going to be it's going to be amazing. Seriously. Let me know what days really work for you. I used to do my live chats on Sunday. I don't necessarily want to do it on Sunday. I kind of want to do it before Sunday, but send me some dates. Send me some days of the week in which it would be conducive and the time because I'm central uh, savings time. It's 1144 my time. So let me know what works for you. Okay. And I'll try to accommodate those people that, you know, Say something. All right, now I'm out for real. Peace and love.